elections have consequences. And sadly, we are living with the carnage of those consequences the past two days. Governor Murphy held little back as he reacted to two major rulings handed down by the U.S. Supreme Court this week, one that dealt a blow to the state's laws on guns and Friday's decision that overturned Roe v. Wade. The governor directed his frustration to voters who elected Donald Trump in 2016. And I want to ask you, are you happy? Because you've shaken things up. A woman is now no longer protected, no longer respected. I hope you're happy that police are now more at risk, their lives, their personal security. While Governor Murphy said his office is still reviewing the court's decision on Roe v. Wade, he's already vowing to welcome women from out of state seeking to terminate their pregnancies. It was back in January when the governor signed a law solidifying reproductive rights in the state where abortion remains legal. Unlike the United States Supreme Court, New Jersey will always stand on the side of our women. We will never stand between them and their doctors. Really, the women that will be impacted most are low-income women. I mean, who has, who has you know, the ability to travel out of state? Cynthia Daniels, a political scientist from Rutgers University, notes that while New Jersey may not be immediately impacted by the SCOTUS decision, legal challenges may now be in the pipeline. You could now bring a claim that there is no constitutional basis for New Jersey's uh, Reproductive Choice Act, right? <laughs> you could challenge it and say there's no uh, constitutional foundation for the legality of that act. So I don't think there's any state that's going to be safe. Now, today, the governor also said he's going to be working with the state legislature to find out ways on how to strengthen the current law. An announcement on all that is expected in the coming days.